How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Stud, and welcome to another episode of the Europa Universalis for Dutch Colonial Conquest campaign. I'm gonna go ahead and real quick, uh, I'm gonna move my mic, so hopefully it's not too noisy for you guys. I just want to move it a little closer. Okay. Hopefully, it didn't make too much noise. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah. Welcome back. Uh. Unfortunately, the after the last episode, I had to go take a break, so uh, this is a new day of recording. Um. But that's okay. I pretty much remember what was going on. Um. This is like the day after the last recording session. So, uh, yeah, so we're, I think we're going to go to war with Great Britain soon. We we're mostly just waiting for France to join us, correct? I believe that is correct. Um, honestly, we might be able to do it with just Denmark, but I'm not going to risk it uh, because of the fact that uh, Portugal is in the war. They could come up through France and kind of, you know, give us a rough time or something. So let's just let's just not worry about that yet. Uh, we have one loan of 213.6 ducats. We'll be able to pay that off next month. Um, we have colonies going on strong everywhere, which is awesome. It's awesome that even at like full army maintenance, we're still you know destroying it in the money department. Um, meanwhile, Camagüey is gonna be finished soon. I think. Yeah, I think we want to focus on at least getting, like, the all of Cuba colonized, and then maybe some other islands, too. Like, the Caribbean is a really good node to have, and I think we should get that maybe even before the Ivory Coast, especially because we could just conquer this land from Portugal. And there's, uh... I've actually realized that there's no downside to letting other people colonize for you in Africa, besides the fact that you won't have access to the provinces there right away but beyond that it's you're you don't change the culture uh through colonization anyways like you do in the new world so it's actually perfectly fine if uh if people other people colonize it because we can just conquer from them and then we'll have to uh change the culture ourselves anyways well actually one province is portuguese i'm not sure why they must have culture converted basically it makes no difference if we have to culture convert other people or not and because that's the thing i like to culture convert the land down here because in that way uh because it's very cheap like four or five ducats or not ducats yeah four or five diplo points um a province and then you don't have as many rebels and that's the main thing um although with the the republican cultural sufferance or whatever we might actually not even have to worry about that but i don't know i it probably honestly i probably worry i'm worrying too much and probably doesn't matter at all um so uh, next election, when ruler dies, because the status are in power, I guess. Uh, where do you see that? In this screen. Uh, I mean, the oranges are in power. Um, okay, interesting. Um, right now, let's see, would France join us now? Oh, they would. Okay, cool. Again, I think we're going to do this. I don't really see a downside. Um, there's, we have you know 20 ish aggressive expansion in the empire and that's not bad at all honestly honestly if we were going to war with the emperor or someone else in the empire we could probably take one or two provinces even and be fine and if it's outside of the empire and a little bit farther away like england is we're gonna be absolutely fine so let's go ahead and go ahead in here and add all of this stuff as being desired provinces um I want to see something. France, do you you have uh, a couple there that are desired, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take our navy and bring them to Calais real quick. Uh, France, will you give me access? Thank you. If we see the alliance breaking thing, it's probably because all those provinces we added is desired, but just keep that in mind. Uh, Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and do this. France and Denmark, we like both of you. We'll go ahead and uh, do this. And we probably will be taking a lot of uh, colonial land from Portugal as well, because I don't really see a reason why not to. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and we'll probably take this land over here, honestly, as well. It, again, I don't really see a big downside to doing so. Let's go ahead and go, go to war. Okay, France has joined, and uh, I think we're going to be good in this war. Hmm, we'll save our admin power now. We're going to need uh, we're gonna need that admin power fairly soon, I think. Um, are there... Uh, we don't have a lot of transports, you know? That's actually something I did not think about. Um, hmm. First off, raise war taxes. I think we might want to... We might have to build up a navy. While we're at war, which sucks. Uh, well, Denmark and Sweden have a big navy. That's right. Okay. We might be good in that case, actually. I, I forgot about that. But, uh, 
Let's go ahead and sit here for now, though, because I still am... Uh, I still do think that we're going to have some issues Navy-wise until Denmark gets down here and Sweden and, and France possibly, too. France, do you really only have one army of 32? Where are your other armies? That can't be right. Come on, that that's not right. France has got to have more than that. They have 60,000. Where's the other 30,000? France, where is your other army of 30,000? Uh, over here? You're co France? You're colonizing France in Brazil? This is not acceptable. I mean, it's fine. They, we knew they were going to do that anyways, but that's a little bit annoying. I, I hate how everyone goes to Brazil. Freaking Castile is there. Portugal will probably go there soon. That's Potiguara, not Portugal. So, But still, I guarantee you, everyone fights over Brazil every time. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I guess we'll wait for France to come back. For now, I'm going to wait for... Uh, well, let's let's go look at navies. As far as navies go, Great Britain, yeah, they have 12 heavies. Okay, so they're definitely, definitely going to have to wait a little bit, huh? I'd say that's fair to say. I probably have been a little bit too uh, uh, lackluster with my navy building, honestly, um, at this point in the game for the Netherlands, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and build some more, build some more navies over here. Uh, I'll build two in each, I suppose, and, uh, beyond that, a couple carricks would also probably be helpful, huh? Hmm. I don't know, though. Let's maybe do some caravels instead. So, like, do a caravel there, a caravel there, and then maybe a carrick here when you got some time. There you go. Three heavies. Sounds good. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, I don't know. I mean, like... I think we're doing alright, because, like, <clears throat> I don't know where the British Navy is. They're apparently not near us anywhere. They might be in, like, there's some over here. Yeah, some over there. I don't know, man. But there's there's navies all over the place at this point in time. Um, let's go ahead and, in that case, we'll just go ahead and maybe start transporting troops over. That doesn't seem, honestly, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Let's just... Why did I go down to speed 2? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, speed 4 for now, since we're not really doing anything. Um, we have one in Wampanoag, one in Rio de Janeiro. I think it's a good idea to do one next to Rio so that they both go faster. That's normally a good idea when you're starting up a new colonial uh, region, a new colonial area, area of colonization. Colonial region means something else. And then you down here. You just keep getting stuck every time. Um... The Western Indian Ocean, nice. Arabian Sea, do that. That should be good. I don't know where the British Navy is. It's weird. Uh, yeah, do that. Absolutely. We're gonna get some, yeah, get some loans, but whatever. Um, national decisions available. Nah, I think that's fine. Defend the Low Countries, Flandern, owned by. That's really good. Uh, we should absolutely do that, but uh, not yet. Defend the Low Countries, cool event. I like it. Unique events uh, and missions. I like those. Okay, so we're waiting for these. Basically, we're mostly just waiting for these. Um... Oh, God, that's a long time. You do have a shipyard. It's just the autonomy. Uh, we're just waiting for some of these uh, transports to finish. So, Because if we, if we transport over six troops by themselves, they will be annihilated. <laughs> so let's not do that. How about... The Palatinate is in this war with us? Why? Oh, because you're under uh, Denmark, aren't you? Which is still weird to me, but I think it's because they both start with a von Wittelsbach. So Denmark, France, Sweden, the Palatinate. Nice. Uh, Castile? No, you won't give me access because you're rival to me. That's okay. We Eventually we need to get over to Portugal, basically, but uh, if we want to take their colonies, which I absolutely do. Seems like Denmark has got a plan. They're rushing over. Maybe they can make it through there? That would make sense, though. It's Military access is shared. But apparently they can, and France is just being lazy is the real thing. Oh, but France... Okay, that's the problem. They're probably just waiting for their other army. 
All right, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna question France. They they're a big boy. They can, they know what they're doing. Not actually though. They're pretty bad. Three advisor in our employee has died. Let's do the uh, let's do this lane for some guy. It's fine. Okay, so twelve is a little bit more reasonable. Twelve uh, transports. I think we're gonna wait even longer though. Uh, meanwhile, tech. Oh god, we're so far behind in admin. What? How old is our ruler? I really hope he dies fairly soon because I want a. Uh, I want the status in power so we can get new rulers whenever uh, fairly quickly whenever our you know other rulers suck. Cape has been converted, which is good. Um, I think that's the last one that we could convert. Yeah, right now. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and our next round of transports is about to finish building, so let's just wait for these. I think, and uh, we might want to build a couple more even. So like, uh, well, yeah, let's see. Yeah, no, nah, it's fine. No, let's not worry about it right now. Let's just wait a second. I think it's it's fine for now. Just keep building up our our navies. Okay. And Friesland and Jailray. These ships will be finishing. Arabian Sea has been explored. And the U down here. Go ahead and uh, explore. I like exploring the oceans first, because that way they don't have to keep going back and forth exploring the same area just because they got one province further of sight, you know. Okay, I think this is good. I think our, uh, we should be able to, if we are smart about it, bring our army over here and, and do stuff. Uh, Porto, isn't that a fort? No, neither of those are. Uh, still though, let's go ahead and, what, what in the world is France even doing? Where is their army? Are you going to the freaking New World to, to get their colonies? Whatever. I mean, that's still... Oh, hey, no, you're in uh, North Africa. All right, that's much more reasonable. Thank you, France. I'm sorry I ever back-talked to you. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and bring our, our army out here. Do we have a... We have a general. 032 is fine. Uh, in the early game, which it still is relatively early, then shock is relatively useful. So this should be fine, hopefully. Uh, our royal marriage with France. It's so awesome that you can have royal marriages as the as the Dutch. It's really overpowered, honestly. But it makes sense for historical reasons. The Netherlands are supposed to be overpowered for a nation of their size, which we have relatively few provinces. But I'll, then again, though, we have a lot of development, so. Okay, well, here we are. Let's go ahead and, uh, I suppose we'll start sieging London. Why not, honestly? Let's go ahead and stay paused for a sec. Internal conflicts in Persia. Um, I want to go ahead and get a general, I think. Because there's a chance that it could be a sea general, and it is not. So we're going to fire that dude. <laughs> we're going to fire this general. Uh, where's the one I just got? Antonius or whatever. Uh, yeah, go to London. Let's just uh, siege him down. Let's see, Great Britain has 30,000 infantry alone, so we might get attacked and, ooh, we're gonna get attacked. We don't have forced march yet, oh geez, let's uh, let's maybe get out of there. This is not good. We might win this, honestly, but it's not gonna be super pretty. We're gonna win this. Uh, strength and status by... You know what, this is really good, but we have so much admin power, or military power that we don't need, so I think the status going up by 10 would actually be better. Uh, especially because you get some Republican tradition, which we're still working on getting up. We lose some war exhaustion, which is not going to help us that much, but still, I think it's good. Let's do that. We won that battle. We actually killed a lot more than we lost, too. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. Why is that the case? They're one tech level behind. Is there another reason? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. I have no clue. You are still just like sitting around doing nothing, which is awesome. Just, just lovely. Is there a... I'll tell you what. Like, it seems a little... It might be a little bit strange. Um, but I think I'm going to get this guy, this... Uh, 
freaking conquistador. I think they they might have like a penalty or something due to um I think they might have a a penalty to like their combat ability or something since they're a conquistador, but uh but they they have but he has 3 fire, 4 shock, 2 maneuver and a siege pip. So I feel like I feel like it's worth it, you know? Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and keep sieging down London. If they attack me, they won't. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense now, does it? Um, hold on. Okay. Yeah, let's, I mean, let's just keep going on speed four. Uh, let Denmark siege down Lisboa. France sieging down Tangiers and Ceuta. Come on, really? I really don't r care to fight you. I'm gonna win. You think you're gonna win? You think you're gonna win? They actually do have more morale, but we have more tactics. They have more discipline, but we outnumber them. We're flanking them a whole heck of a lot. We have a little bit less artillery, actually, but I think we're gonna win this. Come on now. Sweden is bringing over their armies, too. Like, come on. This is just, it's just annoying at this point, honestly. You're just wasting both of our manpowers. Our manpower, ours manpower. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I feel like we do want to do this, but we can't yet. Uh, yeah, let's just hold on for now. Like, stop being annoying, England. Just. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me! All right, Sweden, you're gonna have to help me out here. I hate this. Just stop it. We won. Yeah, because they're being stupid. We've lost like half of our manpower. Uh, oh, you are so screwed, mister. I'm gonna squish you. I'm gonna squish you. That was a bad idea. Apparently that was a bad idea. Uh, that's okay. Let's go ahead and just, honestly, we might just want to peace out of this war now. I'm pissed off at the freaking British for wasting all my manpower. All right, uh, we can take this. I think Kent is really all we want to take. Um... Like, could we take London? We actually could, and only Great Britain would care. I don't think we should, though, but... We're not gonna end this yet, actually, I think. I think we're gonna keep going because of the fact that we can't... Yeah, we can't get those colonies yet. But for now, though, we are gonna run. That's that's one thing we're definitely gonna do, is, is get out of the British Isles. It's not a... Our time has uh, come and gone. Our time to be here. We're a little bit too weak right now. Uh, we're gonna have to wait a month, but... There you go. And I'll come back. Sorry, Sweden, I'm leaving in your I'm leaving you on your own. So that was a little bit too risky for me to try and go and stack wipe them. That's what cost me there, but honestly, I don't really I don't really care. We didn't lose that much in that particular battle. That wasn't the main problem there. Uh we'll go ahead and do this. Take that tech. Um it's good to not fall behind on tech and get some more root out corruption. These heavies will be finishing soon, and I think after that point is when we're gonna go ahead and uh well first off, let's do this. And just take the take the units that are at full uh at full um full uh strength. I can't speak today, sorry. But yeah, let's just go ahead and, and sit here for a little bit, and then we're going to go and, and beat up some peoples. I'm going to let Denmark and Sweden handle this if they want, if they care to. Uh, I'm going to go and siege down some African provinces. Ostfriesland, Calais, cool. Okay, there's our heavies. Our navy is starting to get pretty beefed up, honestly. Yeah, our manpower is going to be a little bit bad, but that's okay, it's worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one, which is the one that we wanted, and take you and go down to freaking Africa. And uh, we're going to siege this down. The French did actually siege down all the British colonies like I expected, but that's not super useful. But whatever. You know, I'm not going to complain too much. Although I just did. We have quite a few sieges in Portugal. Yeah, actually, you know what? We might be able to just like peace out Portugal for their colonies anyways. No. Darn, why not? That's annoying. 
That's okay. Let's just bring our armies down there. If they get London back, it's not a huge deal, honestly. <clears throat> they are going to get London back. Uh, let's just accept that. That's okay. Uh, after we get Portugal out of the war, France will go and deal with them. I'd rather stay at war a little longer to get more benefit than to, than like, you know, than necessarily end the war too early and have to go to war again another at another point in time. Construct a grand fleet. We lost the Siege of London again, to be expected. They actually, I wonder if they're going to go attack Sweden now. I don't know, man. I wouldn't put it past an army even that small to hold their own. They're, I mean, they'll definitely lose. Yeah, let's, uh, let's watch. So, Sweden, your last stand, my friend. Your discipline is superior to theirs, but your numbers are pitiful. <laughs> uh, okay. Either way. Let's go ahead and start sieging now in all this, uh, all this colonial land over here. Why not? Okay, you guys sort of come all the way up to here. Yeah, they, they got all those occupations back, but again, I don't think it really matters that much. Um, when do you get there? On the 26th of June? Good. No, 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 no. Mm, there is an army here, apparently, waiting for us. All right. Uh, don't do that. Don't attack me yet. I need a general. Our truce has Spain and the Papal State. I don't want to fight you yet. Come on. Super not cool, bruh. Get our general over here. Our conquistador, rather, but whatever. Same thing. This is jungle. Let's just retreat back to here. Yeah, chase me down. I dare you. Attack me in the jungle. Come at me. Let's see if they'll, uh... They will come attack us. What? Really? Spain, you want to freaking intervene? Oh, be my guest, Spain. Also, they are Spain now. Be my freaking guest, Spain. You know what? I don't want to fight Portugal anymore, I've decided. <laughs> uh, no, totally not because of anything happening in Europe. It's just mostly that I uh, wanted to have mercy with them. I didn't. I felt like they... I feel like they are uh, a little bit too... Uh, I, I feel like people give Portugal too much of a hard time. Yeah... Totally not because Spain just joined the war. What are you talking about? Is Portugal a, a great power, actually? No, they're not. Okay, so this won't make it so another great power could join, because that might be bad. But it's totally just because I want this. Uh, I just uh, I, I feel like I already have them beat completely. There's no way that suffering more manpower lossage could go wrong in any way. I'm being a little bit jokingly. I'm jokingly saying that, obviously. Okay. I need to end this episode here, though. We'll continue this war and wrap it up in the next episode. Now that Spain's in, we might be able to get some of their colonial land, too. <laughs> Either way, thank you guys for watching. Go, leave a, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.